We are going to be kind of discussing more extreme, talking about blast beats and the techniques behind them. So, how this works, or at least how I do it, because, you know, everybody uses a different technique. You'll see Derek Roddy freaking holds a stick like this. George Coleus plays with all his wrists, but they're both freaking insane drummers. So, that just shows that, like, you know, whatever works for you, do it. But, what works for me is this. When, um, when you're bringing down the stick, it's, I, I'm using the first finger as a fulcrum, and I'm using all the other fingers to pull back the stick. And I'm just using the rebound, the natural rebound of the drums, to, like, help me along with that together speed and stuff, so... <laughs> the camera a little bit so you can see my motion. So. so that's how it works. And that's just applied everywhere on the kit. So, as far as everything else, how I do most of my blasts, is I keep my right hand, it's it's called a traditional blast, and that's bass drum on all the downbeats. So and it's falling like the right hand. So it'd be like and then the snare drum is played on the upbeats. So like but it's gonna you know obviously be at that speed and faster and stuff. So a good way to practice it is to set a metronome. If you have like this, you can practice eighth though. So you go cut, 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 Then at that tempo, cut, 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 you can practice doing a sixteenth notes. So cut, 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 cut. Speed it up. Cut, 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 cut. And then, you know. So, hopefully that kind of helped. I mean, it's it's so simple. It's like hard to go too much in depth on it. It's really just like. A roll separated with kick drums on the downbeats. It's just a super odd feeling, and it'll take a while to get used to. Like, you won't get it right away, usually, but um, if you sit down with it, like, in a week, you should be able to, like, do it fine, because it's, it's not that difficult. It's just, a, it's just a weird feeling, and it feels great. It's my favorite thing to do on a drum set, because everything feels like it's locking super tight. I'm doing 16 note subdivisions, my bass drums is hammering out eighth notes, and it's just it sounds awesome. Alright. Cool. Thanks for watching.